Hello. Happy Easter Resurrection Day. Uh, we will look at uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15 from verse 12. But if it is preached that Christ has been raised from the dead, how can some of you say this is there is no resurrection of the dead? If there is no resurrection of the dead, then not even Christ has been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, our preaching is useless, so is your faith. More than that, we are then found to be false witnesses about God. For we have testified about God that he raised Christ from the dead, but he did not raise him, if in fact the dead are not raised. For if the dead are not raised, then Christ has not been raised either. And if Christ has not been raised, your faith is futile. You are still in your sins. Then those also who have fallen asleep in Christ are lost. If only for this life we have hope in Christ, we are of all people most to be pitied. Today we need to examine our Christian life, how we live, especially do we live a life of hopelessness. That is, first of all, we really need to check ourselves. In this um, pandemic, um, you know, co coronavirus things, we need to understand uh, many people in the world have hopelessness, while we Christian believer has hope in the Lord. If the Lord cannot save us from this kind of things and all uh, hardship, and tragedy, you know, our uh, our hope is not real, like um, our hope is futile, right? Because we need to understand Christ saved us, not only saving us to for us to be saved as a salvation, saving, saving uh, our life and eternal life to have eternal life. God also saved us from all all tragedies that we need to understand amen so we have hope some people say hey we don't have we don't have uh, uh, we don't have uh, like uh, something like we will not be raised that was their things we will not be raised again but the bible said if we are not going to get raised our ultimate thing is not just not to get sick or not to have, not to get uh, like uh, in poverty. Our ultimate is, you know, we may go through many hardship and things, you know, God may save, God can save, but he may not save us through that because that's not the end, but he still will save us to get into eternal life. That's we need to understand. The world is just we are passing through and the Lord will shake all the world, whatever it can shake it. What cannot be shaken is only the word of God. In Peter, Peter epistle said, the time will come, the Lord is going to shake all over the world. Everything, all the universe he will shake. But the things that is going to remain is his words. So in his word he said, Jesus raised from the dead. That is not a lie. That's not a lie, okay? So many, many theory uh, in the past, they mentioned that Jesus never been raised from the dead. But God, in his words, which never lie to us, says he rose from the dead. That's why we have hope in Christ. If not, we Christians should be very pitiful. Christ has indeed been raised from the dead, the first fruit of those who have fallen asleep. For since that came through a man, the resurrection of the dead comes also through a man. So through one man, through one man that enter into the world, that is called the first Adam, Adam, who brought sin into the world. One man brought sin into the world. Whether you do anything, no sin or sin, you are imputed to sin. From that sin, how can we get out? The only thing is just we can depend and surrender to God, the Lord Jesus Christ, whom he was sent to earth to save us our souls. 
Okay, so when we put our faith in Him, then the saving, um, the the saving spirit is inside of us. I mean, the saving faith is inside of us that is marked with His seal, and He sealed us with His Spirit. That's why the Lord Jesus Christ, when He raised from the de the dead. He was called second Adam. The second Adam did not come from the earth. He came from heaven. And the second Adam can save us. Amen. This, the second Adam can take us to heaven, to eternity, to God's kingdom. Even now on earth, we can enter into God's kingdom because we have that. We believe we put our faith in the second Adam. Amen. So he is the first fruit who rose from the dead, very first fruit who rose from the dead. We also will be raised. Amen. That is our hope. If not, we, if we are not raised, if the dead are not going to be raised, that is a futile. So 22 verse 22 said, For as in Adam all die, so in Christ all will be made alive. But each in turn, Christ, the first fruits, then when he comes, those who belong to him, then the end will come when the hands over the kingdom to God. The end will come when he hands over the kingdom of God, the father, father after he has destroyed all dominion, authority and power. For he must reign until he has put all his enemies under his feet. The last enemy to be destroyed is death. That is the last enemy he will destroy from us. So in, on the earth there would be death, death, death. And but when he comes back, we will enter into eternity. There you can never find death. Okay, he will destroy death. That is the last one he will destroy. For he has put everything under his feet. Now, when it says that everything has been put under him, it is clear that this does not include God himself who put everything under Christ. When he, does, when he has done this, then the Son himself will be made subject to him who put everything under him, so that God may be all in all. Our God is all in all. So he put everything, he is going to put everything under his feet. So we don't, we don't say, hey, there is no resurrection. There is resurrection. That is our victory. So in a twinkling of an, an, an eye, will we, we will resurrect. Amen. The one who died first will come and rise first and we will resurrect with them and we'll go. That is why here it say, where or oh, that is your victory. That on that death, D E A T H, that God has overcome. Jesus Christ, through his resurrection, he has overcome. Hallelujah. He has overcome. Amen. That's why he say, where or oh, that is your sting. Okay. Where or oh, that is your victory. Now, we know that like in Italy, Italy and also in New York and all, they bury so many people last two, three weeks. So many, many people die. But the time will come that that is already have overcome. And uh, there will not be no more death, no more sorrow, no more tears. The sting of that is sin. We need to understand the sting of that, why do we die? Because there is sin. Sin entered into the world. That's why we die. The power of sin is the law. So the law is saying, hey, don't do this, don't do this. And then we cannot obey the law. That's why it's become uh, powerful. Sins become powerful. But it says in 57, thanks be to God. He gave us the victory throughout the Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give all yourself fully to the work of the Lord, because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. You know, sometimes we want to say, oh, my labor, oh, I have all, maybe we give to uh, God's work and we say, oh, I have given this and that. And um, if I go to church, I have to go back and give again. Some people think, I'm not talking about GIPH people, okay? Some people may think that way. 
But uh, that's not something that you, we need to think because those things are saved, okay? Saved in God's hands. And we, we get back with, with that deposit, we get back with interest. It's like a treasure. So nothing, in, our labor in the Lord is not in vain. Let's say you come to church three times a week, okay? You think, okay, I can do something else before, uh, instead of coming to church and learn the Bible and come and pray. But the Lord is saying, hey, those things are being saved. That thing can help you when you are in trouble. You know, nothing is, our labor in the Lord is in vain. You know, it's not in vain. And the Lord saved everything. It's a treasure. Everything in his book, he wrote down everything. In times of hardship like this, God returned and turn back into his protection, turn back into his provision, turn back into health. Amen. So God's in, uh, because these things, why it, this thing turn back into all good things in our lives? Because we, uh, God is truly alive and he rose from the dead. No, God is uh, talked about their resurrection. Only the Lord Jesus Christ. No grave could held on him. No grave could held on him. Only him, the Lord Jesus Christ, rose, rose, uh, risen from the dead. That is why we really need to know and be uh, uh, like a have hope in the Lord and be valuable uh, the way you think. Everything is very much valuable. You are important. You are important. You are special. That's what... Uh, I want to encourage you and we need to know um, Jesus Christ rose from the dead. Amen. God bless you all.